Good afternoon to you and we welcome you to the fabulous MGM Grand Resort and Casino here in Las Vegas, Nevada as Premier Boxing Champions presents the press conference for our pay-per-view portion of our blockbuster night of action coming your way this Saturday, July the 20th. We kick off the evening on Saturday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, 4 p.m. Pacific, on the Fox Network, live to 120 million homes, featuring the super middleweight world champion Caleb Plant defending his title and his undefeated record against the undefeated challenger Mike Lee. Then at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, 6 p.m. Pacific, our unprecedented night of boxing continues with Fox Sports PBC pay-per-view headlined by the epic welterweight battle with Manny Pacquiao taking on Keith Thurman. Well, our pay-per-view night of action also is supported by three outstanding action-packed bouts. Let's meet all of the fighters at this time. Our pay-per-view event opens up with a bantamweight special attraction scheduled 12 rounds of boxing, and it features a battle of former world champions. First, please welcome from Miami by way of the Dominican Republic, a two-time Olympian, current world rank contender, the former bantamweight champion of the world, known as Baby Pacquiao. Please welcome Juan Carlos Payano. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we introduce his opponent from Tijuana, Baja California, Mexico. We'll give Juan Carlos a little time in the spotlight at this time. Once again, a former world champion, current top rank contender. His opponent is from Tijuana, Baja California, Mexico. He will be seeking his 11th consecutive knockout win. He's currently ranked the number one bantamweight in the world. Please welcome the undefeated former bantamweight champion of the world, Luis Pantera Neri. There they are, ladies and gentlemen. It opens up our pay-per-view event on Saturday night. Luis Pantera Neri versus Baby Pacquiao Juan Carlos Payono. Once again, our opening attraction on Fox Sports PBC pay-per-view. All right, gentlemen, have a seat at this time. We'll bring to you at this time... Our next pay-per-view attraction scheduled 12 rounds of boxing, a welterweight very special event. First introducing from Covina, California, he has 24 knockouts in his 30 victories. Please welcome the hard-hitting, battle-ready, and always exciting welterweight introducing the gladiator, John Molina Jr. And now we present his opponent fighting out of Los Angeles by way of Russia and Kazakhstan. He's a current welterweight world contender, the former super lightweight champion of the world. Here is Sergei, the Samurai Lipinets. And there they are, ladies and gentlemen, Sergei Lipinets versus John Molina Jr., the Samurai versus the Gladiator. It's going to be an outstanding fight. It's on our Fox Sports PBC pay-per-view Saturday night, a welterweight special attraction, 12 rounds of boxing scheduled. 
And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's bring out our next fighters. Our next pay-per-view attraction is a tremendous showdown in the welterweight division. First, from Miami by way of Cuba. Olympic bronze medalist and the current world-ranked welterweight contender. Please welcome Jordanis Ugas. And now we present his opponent from Westlaco, Texas, the popular and undefeated former lightweight champion of the world, Panterita, Omar Figueroa Jr. Yeah. Parece un sueño, un Lambo y un Grammy, cinco casas en Colombia, otra más en PR, y tengo mansión en Miami. There they are, ladies and gentlemen, Panterito Omar Figueroa Jr., Jordanis Ugas, Saturday night from the MGM Grand Garden Arena on Fox Sports PBC pay-per-view. They look calm now, but you just wait. Saturday night, it's going to be a war. And now, ladies and gentlemen, before we bring out our fighters for the main event, let's take a closer look first at the undefeated WBA welterweight champion of the world, Keith Thurman. Undefeated. This is a legendary fight. Keith, one time, Thurman. I want to show the world why I belong at the top. Big right hand by Thurman. I know he's gonna put his best foot forward. I look forward to the challenge. What a shot! But the moment is now. And now, please welcome from Clearwater, Florida. That zapped us. No losses, 22 of his wins coming by way of knockout. He'll be making his sixth world title appearance. The longest current reigning welterweight world champion. Please welcome the acclaimed, hard-hitting and undefeated WBA welterweight champion of the world, Keith One-Time Thurman. And now let's take a closer look at a living legend of the sport of boxing, Manny Pacquiao. We're gonna do our job. I love to fight. Manny. Nobody will intimidate me. I saw his weakness. At age of 40, I can still beat the undefeated fighter. And now here is the fighting senator from the Sarangani province of the Philippines, a fixture in mega fights in his 70 bout career that has spanned across 24 years in the sport. Boxing's renowned, legendary, and only eight division world champion. Please welcome the one and the only Manny Pacman Pacquiao. They are, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Manny Pacquiao versus Keith Thurman, WBA welterweight championship of the world on Fox Sports PBC pay-per-view this Saturday night, live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we're going to move on to our question and answer session. My pleasure to hand the microphone duties over to the talented TV host and respected reporter for Fox Sports. Please welcome Heidi Andral. Take it away, Heidi. Thank you very much, Jimmy. Thank you to all of the media for joining us here for this amazing night. It's always fun to be in the fight capital of the world, even more fun when you have a spectacular spectacle on tap like we do this weekend. All right, let's get it started. I'm going to have, I have the honor of uh, asking a few questions first, and then we'll, of course, open things up to the members of the media who joined us here today. Let's start it off with the senator, Mr. Manny Pacquiao. You've done this a time or two in your career. Started boxing at 12 years old, now you're 40, here in this arena for the 15th time. Does this ever get old? <laughs> Absolutely not. Um, in terms, I'm just going to move your mic so people can hear you here. In terms of, uh, you've, you've done a lot this before, but you've never done it in front of a Fox audience. What does it mean for you to be here fighting in front of this new Fox audience? I wanted to uh, fight in PAX. Uh, uh, this is my first time, I think, uh, to fight in PAX, uh, covered by PAX, and to all the, the, the fans, uh, thank you so much to all your support. Keith, you're an undefeated champion. You fought on big stages in big fights, but never won quite this big. What has this experience been like for you thus far? Uh, it's been tremendous thus far, and the experience isn't over, you know. Um, I'm looking forward to the fight. I'm looking forward to the final moment when my hand is raised. And, you know, it's just been a buildup. It's been a progression my whole uh, career, being an undefeated champion. You know, I remember when I struggled um, as an interim champion, and then I first had the regular title, WBA, that Manny holds now, and now I'm a super champion, uh, fighting a legend back here at the MGM Grand, beautiful arena, Las Vegas. I mean, it's just a beautiful time, a beautiful moment in boxing, and I'm happy to be here. A beautiful time, but it, things have kind of gotten a little personal throughout this fight camp. I think, uh, Manny, some things were said by Keith that you've not been happy with. He said he plans to retire you, that he's not going to let a little bunny rabbit beat him. He said he's going to crucify you. Has this gotten personal? For me, nothing is personal. It's a, uh, I have to, uh, to do my job, and I have personal, you know, um, nothing personal with him. But uh, in our job as a, as a fighter, um, it's kind of uh, you have to prove something, and then I have to prove something. Also. And that's why I'm so motivated for this fight, uh, for this training camp. We did a lot, so I'm excited for Saturday. What do you want to prove specifically? Well, everything. Um, the question mark, big question mark to the fans, the, the mind of the fans, so, at, especially at the age of 40. Keith, but you've said those things. Were they genuine or was it simply head games, trying to get under his skin? I mean, it's simple, man. I'm a fighter. You know, Manny Pacquiao is tremendous. He's a legend. He's accomplished so many great things in the sport. Most boxers, if they've accomplished half the things Manny Pacquiao accomplished, they still have a successful careers. But, you know, I'm not here to hug Manny Pacquiao. I'm not here to pat him on the back. You know, I'm here to fight him. And so for me, it just puts me in the fight mode when I let him know he, you know, he ain't going to do nothing. With them little T-Rex arms, he's about to get, you know, beat up. I get to punch a senator in the face. You know, he's going to feel it. And if he's upset about it, you know, he can do something about a Saturday night. It's called swing, 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 baby. Manny, I don't think I've ever seen you make facial expressions quite like that during the response of an opponent. What's, what do you say to that? I'm just uh, always smiley face. <laughs> <laughs> not on fight night. <laughs> no, not on fight night. Do you have a, re a reply to that? What do you... I mean, I don't think anybody's ever told you you had T-Rex arms. Well, um, I mean, it's easy to say, but uh, I don't know if uh, it's easy to, to do it in the ring. Uh, you know me, I've been in I've been this <laughs> sport more than two, uh, two decades, so my experience will, will prove it. Fair enough. Well, this card is action-packed top to bottom. Let's move on to our co-feature. Omar Figueroa Jr. will take on your Dennis Ugas. Two guys with powerful punches. Omar, let's start with you because uh, you're fighting this fight at welterweight, 
147 pounds. Have you given up at 140? Given up making weight, that is. Uh, no, but I feel great at 147. The weight cut has been as, I mean, easy uh, as it was for Guerrero. Uh, so I was able to focus on maintaining my body healthy instead of trying to cut the weight and all that. So honestly, at the end of the day, that's, that's what matters. If I'm not healthy, I'm not able to fight and um, I get paid to fight. So I'm here to make money. Most definitely. Your Dennis, I know you weren't happy uh, with how things went in your fight against Sean Porter. Will you be looking to end things early and not let this one go to the judges, given what happened in that fight? Bueno, sí, el sábado pienso salir lo más decisivo posible. Eh, las cosas, los jueces, no me, no me gusta hablar de los jueces, ya eso pasó. Estamos enfocados en el sábado y el sábado sabemos que tenemos que tomar la, la justicia por nuestras manos. Now I'm going to come out decisive in this fight. Uh, I don't want to say anything bad about the judges. They do their job, and that's already in the past. But I'm going to come out uh, ready for this fight and show the judges or whoever that I'm going to win this fight. Next up, it's Sergey Lipinets, who will take on John Molina Jr. I'm going to start over here with you, John, because yesterday I saw you face off with Sergey at the media arrivals, and then I saw you kind of have a jovial face off with Joe Goosen, his trainer, someone you're very familiar with who's trained you on and off over the years. Is it a disadvantage having your opponent uh, to have a trainer that you know so well and that knows you so well? Uh, no, I, I think not. Um, I've been doing this a long time, and what you saw between me and Joe is nothing but respect, and he knows that. It's just a respect issue, man to man. Um, what we're going to do Saturday night is business, and uh, it's nothing personal. And in this fight game, we're all professionals. Nothing personal, it's just business. But um, again, like I said, it was a, a sign of respect. Sergey, your team has said that you plan uh, to prepare for another retirement party, alluding to the fact that Lamont Peterson retired after your last fight. Uh, how do you intend to do that? And, and do you believe that will actually happen with a powerful guy like John Molina Jr. sitting here? Ну, мы готовились очень хорошо, тщательно, тяжелые, тяжелые тренировки проходили, поэтому мы сделаем все для победы, и я сделал все для победы. Постараюсь э, завершить этот э, вечер бокса красивым, красиво, как смогу. Well, we were getting ready to fight. Uh, it doesn't matter uh, what John is going to do. We we're going to do what we're supposed to do, and uh, it was a big build up. To, to, for that fight, and uh, we really, really work on everything possible angle that might happen in that ring. And uh, hopefully that, that, that evening is going to end up in a way where everybody is going to be cheering for both of us. Well, no doubt it's going to be a, a, very, comp a very compelling fight, and also it's going to be tough to choose fight of the night because all of these are action-packed. Speaking of action-packed, let's go to our, our fight that's going to open the card. Luis Neri. Your second fight in the United States, your second Fox pay-per-view. Congratulations on that. <laughs> Do you feel pressure? Because you're coming into this on a 10 knockout streak. Those streaks are great, but oftentimes they come with the pressure to keep them going. Given the way uh, your opponent was knocked out two fights ago by a top 10, uh, pound for pound top 10 guy, do you feel the pressure to get the knockout in this one as a measuring stick? Bueno, no, este... Todos los peleadores son diferentes. Que la haya noqueado eh, y no ve en un round no quiere decir que también lo tenga que noquear en un round. Puede ser en el segundo, tercero o cuarto, no lo sé. Pero siempre el invicto es un, es un peso que uno tiene encima por, por el récord. Y más en una cartelera tan grande como es Paqueo Truman, es un gran. Más que nada me siento feliz de, que, de estar en esta cartelera con ellos dos. First of all, it's a pleasure to be on this big uh, fight night here on Fox Pay-Per-View. Um, I'm ha very happy that my second fight here is also on Fox Pay-Per-View. And in regards to uh, Payano, uh, all fighters are different. I mean, um, you know, he knocked him down in the first round. That doesn't mean, you know, I'm going to knock him down in the first round. It might be the second or the fourth. But um, I, I don't feel the pressure. No, it's always a pressure, yes, to maintain the record, the O, the zero, no losses. But um, uh, I'm just going to go out there and fight. Excellent. Juan Carlos, you're, early in your career, you're, you were known as Baby Pacquiao. Now you're sitting on a stage. 
with Manny Pacquiao. What is this experience like for you and how do you plan to make it your night? Primeramente, agradecerle a Dios, a Fox Sport, a Hermo, <coughs> por esta oportunidad de estar aquí presente en una, una cartelera de mi gran ídolo, Pacquiao. Eh, hasta ahora me siento muy eh, airoso, con ganas de, de demostrar que puedo seguir y puedo conseguir una victoria más también ante este gran peleador como lo es Luis Neri. Se sí, conozco su trayectoria, buena experiencia, tremendo boxeador. Y nada, yo espero que el sábado por la noche dar un buen, un buen teatro, un buen, una buena pelea eh, entre dos guerreros encima del ring. I'm very happy to be on this fight card, especially Manny Pacquiao. Of course, he's my idol. I want to thank Fox uh, Sports for having me. Also Al Heyman, um, also my whole team that's behind me. Um, and we know Luis Neres is a great fighter, so I'm here to give you guys a great show on Saturday, and um, that's what we expect. All right, well, the, the betting odds are in the favor of Manny Pacquiao right now at this moment. They shifted. Earlier on, you were the favorite. Keith, I have to know, did you, you said you were going to bet on yourself. Did you, and what did you bet? Oh, you know, we're going uh, for the overall victory. And then we're going for first round knockout, second round knockout, and then uh, lucky number seven round knockout, you know? <laughs> uh, at the end of the day, um, it's a sport. You know, I'm a, I'm a winner in life, uh, but to bet on myself for the opening rounds, it makes me do what I said earlier, which is swing, 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 you know? I mean, you gotta, you gotta swing uh, to hit a home run. You know, you can't just sit there and pump fake all day. So I just want to open up. I like to encourage myself. And, you know, in boxing, man, we really don't have a, a knockout bonus, man. You know, I, if one time Thurman gets a first round knockout, somebody's got to pay me. So at least the MGM Grand can pay me, you know. Uh, you know, it, it's fun. It's playful. But it really uh, it, it's a little bit of part of my strategy. It's, I don't recommend it for every fighter. Every fighter is their own. But I like it. Fair enough. Have you ever bet on yourself? No, I don't. Uh, I had a feeling you I were going to say that. <laughs> uh, all right, we're going to do closing comments. We're running out of time here. Keith, we're going to send you up to the stage. Why should everyone watch? And final thoughts. What's up, everybody? It's an honor to be here at the MGM Grand. I'm truly looking forward to this fight. We've had a terrific, terrific training camp. Uh, it's been a beautiful experience working with Fox uh, in preparation, all the buildup, everything that we've been getting and all the support we've been getting from you guys, the media. Uh, this is just a, a tremendous fight. I think it's one of the best matchups of the year. I think it's the most exciting fight of the summer. And, you know, at the end of the day, look at the rest of the lineup, man. I mean, this is a fight worth watching. These, these fights here, you know, are, are worth the money. To buy, to support, uh, Saturday night is just going to be one hell of a night. And, you know, I've been saying it over and over again, but don't be surprised if Manny Pacquiao goes night, night. Thank you so much. All right, Manny, we'll give you an opportunity now to, to reply to that and do closing thoughts here at the podium, please. We'll, we'll put you here. Hello everyone, uh, well, first of all I would like to thank God for uh, this opportunity again, uh, giving us a good health to be here. Um, this is not an uh, um, accident, there's a, a, a plan, um, I mean, especially this uh, coming Saturday, it's going to be an uh, um, exciting fight, once in a lifetime fight, going to be more action. Uh, like he said, my opponent said that um, it's going to be more action in the ring. That's why I, I became a, my opponent, because uh, we believe that we can give a good fight to the fans. That's, uh, that's our first concern, uh, the fans, the, the enjoyment of the fans on Saturday. So uh, I, would like to, uh, I, I would like to thank um, everyone who support this, uh, uh, this uh, once in a lifetime match, uh, especially the Paxford uh, MGM. Uh, this, is my, this is not my... First time or third time to, uh, to fight in uh, the MGM, 
But thank you so much, NJM, for um, giving us this opportunity, and not only me, but all other fighters also. And uh, of course, uh, I want to thank uh, the media, press, for uh, the job well done. Uh, because of you guys, so we, uh, we've been known this, uh, this fight, um, and good promotion for, for all of us, uh, for boxing. Uh, not only for, for this fight, but the uh, in boxing industry uh, all over the world, and also the fans of boxing. Thank you so much for being uh, there, uh, always supporting us. And uh, of course, um, what, what, what I can say in, uh, in my training camp, uh, we did a lot. Uh, we did our best in training. Uh, I'm, I think, uh, I believe uh, we are really 100% conditioned, physically, mentally, and most of all, spiritually. And I'm sure uh, my, my opponent uh, work hard, uh, train hard for, uh, for Saturday. So um, I expect that, expecting a good fight. Um, like I said, toe to toe on Saturday would be good. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean it's, been, it's been a while that um, I, I never experienced like that. So I think this, this is, is going to be. It's going to be exciting uh, the, the way he, he talked to, uh, to you guys today. Um, I hope that he will do it on Saturday. Uh, and also, uh, before I end, uh, you know, um, I want to thank uh, the Filipino fans for being, uh, being there, always supporting us. Dagang salamat, maraming salamat sa inyong lahat, mga kababayan ko. Thank you to all of you. And of course, um, to all the sponsors for this uh, big event. And before I end, I would like to uh, leave this uh, passage of the Bible in Jeremiah 9 again, 9 uh, verse 23, uh, 24. It says, This is what the Lord says, Let not the wise boast about their wisdom, or the strong boast about their strength, or the rich boast about their riches. But let the one who boast boast about this, that they have the understanding to know me, that I am the Lord who exercises kindness, justice, and righteousness. For in this I delight, declares the Lord. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for watching. Well, if you enjoyed that clip, make sure you click uh, somewhere around here and subscribe from Fight Highlights to exclusive interviews. We have got everything you need as a boxing fan right here on PBC on Fox.